Hi, I'm going to show IoTVT running on a different system. So this is a very basic use case, but uh, I will explain it in detail. So the idea is to have uh, one device sharing a resource, which is overlay, and one other device, uh, which is running as a client and can act on this uh, remote shared uh, resource. So it's just a switch I can overlay, I can control with a binary switch. That's all. So I have a, a client on this board and a server on this board. So talking about this board, this is um, uh, Arduino Mega. It's a very uh, popular board for makers. It is not running a CPU, not running an operating system, just bare metal. And I have IoTVT um, CSDK running on it. So it's about uh, 100K of uh, footprint. And this is a Ethernet shield, uh, the classic one just uh, connected to this router, which is running open number RT, but you can use any any router, there is no special modification, but it was to be known that IoTVT can be embedded on the router also, but it's not the case here. And uh, on this uh, Raspberry Pi 2, there is a daughter board, we call uh, them HAT, and uh, this is uh, the Rabbit Max. Uh, it's a free sample I got from uh, my friend Leon, and it's uh, it's open source hardware, and it is uh, providing a lot of cool features. So we have this relay. If you don't want to use a, a module like this one, this is rather cheap, uh, so it can be convenient to use uh, this kind of relay or just a daughter board. Before I was doing this kind of electronics with. Uh, uh, our array, of course, and uh, our transistor and uh, diodes and a uh, lot of junk and for making demo it's not very good, but I, I did this way before. And um, we have this relay, this boot button, we have uh, RGB LED, a little buzzer, uh, infrared emission recep reception, and uh, the most interesting is uh, SUS uh, I2C uh, plugs, you can put several of them, here is one sensor, I will explain this maybe later, and a small display. So, and uh, what can I say, how oh, okay, the conception of the, the Raspberry Pi and the hat is about uh, uh, 0.3 uh, amps and uh, 5 volt, because it's a uh, regular power supply. Uh, what I can show also is uh, that uh, I can use other device as an IoTVT client. So this device is running, is shipping the IoTVT C++ um, library and it's linked to an EFL application. So first I start with discovery of the device, okay, on fine, it's found. And then I can just uh, change the state of the resource so like I did with this button. So that's uh, not more complicated. So. I have another device uh, I can show, it is uh, too brand new, it is, uh, this is the same version of the application but built for the Tizen Gear S2, which is uh, running the pro uh, wearable profile of Tizen, so the same feature, that's all. So we have, okay, so we have one, two, three client and one server, but you can put a lot of resources sharing and uh, interconnecting differently. So that thing, I think that's, uh, that's all what I want to say. Oh yeah, the operating system, so there is none on this. This is a uh, Yocto running on this with uh, uh, some layers and uh, Meta IC layer. And uh, this is uh, Tizen uh, 2.3.1 uh, and Tizen 2.4. Uh, see you later, I can show you this uh, live in different places and uh, probably with uh, more features. Thank you for listening, goodbye.